City of Marvels by Charlene Brusso. Welcome to ancient Rome, the most advanced city in the world. More than 1 million people live here, but our city is still cleaner, more comfortable, and safer than other cities. For example, we have cobblestone streets. They are much less dusty and muddy than the dirt streets found in many other places. Our city also has many beautiful designed, beautifully designed buildings and temples made of brick and stone. But our city's most important structure is the aqueducts. The aqueducts bring us fresh, clean water. The aqueducts are a large system that carries water from one place to another. They look like tall, graceful stone bridges. The aqueducts carry melted down snow, melted snow down from the mountains into the city. From there, the water goes to many places. For example, water goes to many different fountains throughout the city. Water also goes to our public baths and our public bathrooms. Water cleans away the sewage beneath the stone toilets. The waste is then carried out of the city to the river. This wonderful system helps keep our city clean and smelling nice, especially in the summer duck months. The Roman Aqueducts The homes of our wealthy citizens have many conveniences. For example, they have indoor, pl indoor plumbing and central heating. Pipes with hot water run under the floors in these homes. This heats the stone floors and warms the house. Our public baths have hot, warm, and cold pools. Cleanliness is important to us. Slaves stoke the bathhouse fires every morning to make enough hot water for the day. In most bathhouses, women bathe in the morning. The afternoon is reserved for men. They arrive after lunch to relax and discuss the latest news while soaking in the steaming waters. We have plenty of entertainment, too. We have a large amphitheater or a stadium called the Coliseum. It can fit up to 50,000 people at a time. People can watch gladiators fight with one another or wild animals, everything from lions and apes to elephants. There are also many festivals and games throughout the year. The government also pays for many plays to keep our citizens happy. From the modern wonder of our water system to our lively streets and colorful festivals, Rome has been the best of everything. It is truly a city of marvels. Number one, which of the following sentences best states the main idea of the passage. A. Ancient Rome was the best city in the world. B. Ancient Rome had a lot of unique features that helped citizens lead happy, comfortable lives. C. Ancient Rome valued cleanliness more than anything else. D. Ancient Rome's most important structures were its aqueducts. Number two, which detail from the passage best supports your answer in question one? A. More than 1 million people live here, but, but our city is still cleaner, more comfortable, and more, and safer than other cities. B. But our city's most important structure is the aqueducts. C. Cleanliness is important to us. D. The government also pays for many plays to keep our citizens happy. Number three. Read the paragraph. In most bathhouses, women bathe in the morning. The afternoon is reserved for men. They arrive after lunch to relax and discuss the latest news while soaking in the steaming waters. What inference can be made about Roman culture from this paragraph? A. Women were considered less important than men. B. Men were more interested in the news and politics than women. C. Cleanliness was important. D. Getting clean was a good way to socialize. Number four. What is the most important what is the most likely reason the author included the illustrations in this passage? A. To provide additional information about the features of ancient Rome. B. To show how many people lived in ancient Rome. C. To show where the city of Rome was located. D. To show what features of ancient Rome looked like. Number five. What was the purpose of an aqueduct? A. To carry fresh water. B. To provide a place where people could watch gladiator, gladiators fight, C, to allow people to bathe and socialize, D, to serve as a road.